Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So in my previous video, I had uh, discussed with the concept of one protocol that is stop and wait protocol. And uh, we have discussed a lot of uh, things in that stop and wait protocol uh, related to the sender and the receiver block about transmission of packets. And uh, in that we have seen one difference. There is one, there was one timer and one uh, sender and the receiver window through which the packets, copy packets are uh, kept stored there. And with respect to that, how the channel transmission takes place, everything we have discussed with one FSM that is finite state model. So those have not seen that video, please go and watch it. In this video, we would be continuing with one more important protocol that is called as GBN or go back N protocol. Okay. So what do you mean by this go back N here? Here the N stands for uh, one condition where the packets are getting judged. That is the where the packets are getting interfaced. Okay. So that is meant by the value of N. So uh, in detail, what do you mean by that? I'll tell you in this video. So yeah, let us start with the concept of go back N protocol. Okay. So please like this video and guys and those who have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. So let us start now. Now to improve the efficiency of transmission, that is to fill the pipe or this logical channel, multiple packets must be in the transition while the sender is waiting for the acknowledgement. Okay. So here, this is the basic condition that is in the sender side, in the logical channels, the packet should be continuously sent at the receiver end. Okay. That is, uh, that would be affecting the, uh, uh, what to say, acknowledgement. Why? Because acknowledgement occurs. Uh, in a very less amount of time it would be expecting the next packet to be ready so that's why we should be uh, it should be in the transition state okay in other words we need to let more than one packet be outstanding to keep the channel busy while the sender is waiting for acknowledgement okay in this section we discuss one protocol that can achieve this goal in the next section we discuss the second so the first one is called as go back n protocol okay so the key to this go back n is that we can send several packets before receiving acknowledgements. Okay. So before receiving any acknowledgement, right? Because in the previous stop and wait protocol, there was one fixed timer, right? And uh, one copy of that one, it would be the operation was taking place only for one single packet. That is one packet was sent. It should be waiting for that acknowledgement. Then only after that complete procedure, it would be sending the next packet, right? Whereas in this case, that is the main thing. Multiple packets can be sent and acknowledgement won't be uh, uh, before receiving the acknowledgement only you could be sending multiple packets at a time. Okay. So in the previous in the stop and wait how it was one packet was sent right in the logical channel. Uh, it was uh, received in the receiver state acknowledgement should be sent to the sender side and if the acknowledgement is received received then only the next packet was sent right. But here in this case it is not like that packets could be sent simultaneously and it, it is not dependent on any acknowledgement. Okay. Yeah. But the receiver can only buffer one packet. But in the sender side, you could be sending multiple packets. But in the receiver, while uh, sending the acknowledgement, it would be sending only one one packet at a time. Okay, so this is one difference. So we keep a copy of that sent packets until the acknowledgements arrive. So here, since multiple packets are sent, so that's why in the send window you see here the size of the send window is more here. Okay, it is uh, larger here. Uh, for example, you see here how it is kept. Uh, there are four frames right? like this and the receive window it is same as previously because in the receive window as I have told you one one packet is uh, uh, sent through acknowledgement so that's why at the receiving frame there is only one box here whereas at the send window for multiple packets there are multiple box uh, obtained at the time okay so this is one difference in go back n protocol yeah so let's continue now so this figure below figure shows the outline of the protocol note that several data packets and acknowledgements can be in the channel at the same time okay so here again uh, this is this section is same as the previous that is for stop and wait protocol application transport layer where this uh, this these packets are called as uh, uh, data packets and uh, this small uh, small boxes are called as acknowledgement and sender and receiver side like this the loop con uh, loop state takes place and uh, it would be uh, happening simultaneously okay there is only one difference as i've told you right now in the if you compare it with the stop stop and wait protocol the packets are sent continuously and it won't be uh, waiting for the acknowledgement of the previous packet okay it would be continuously sending the packets but in the receiving side acknowledgement is sent one by one okay so that difference you need to be knowing and here again there we are having one timer 
and we are having one uh, sliding window in the center and the receiver side uh, and uh, the procedure takes place okay so yeah please note this diagram down now let's get to the sequence and acknowledgement numbers so here there is no much change as we have discussed previously in the stop and wait protocol that only is repeated here as we mentioned before the sequence numbers are of the form modulo 2 power m where m is the size of the sequence number in field bits okay acknowledgement numbers also remains the same and acknowledgement number in this protocol is cumulative and defines the sequence number of the next packet expected cumulative means it is ca ca completely combined together all together with respect to number of packets sent okay for example if the acknowledgement number is 7 it means that all packets with sequence number up to 6 have arrived okay so if the acknowledgement number is uh, 7 then before 7 what all of the numbers are there that many number of packets would be arrived at the receiving end in order to be sending the acknowledgement okay so safe and sound and the receiver is expecting the packet with sequence number 7 at the next end okay so the, there is one note here you see in the go back n protocol the acknowledgement number is cumulative and defines the sequence number of the next packet expected okay so this is basically the acknowledgement numbers and the sequence numbers of this protocol note it down now send window uh, as i've told you the length of the send window is uh, the size is uh, getting increased because of the multiple packet set so what is that send window let us see that now here the send window is an imaginary box covering the sequence numbers of the copy of the data packets that can be transmit or can be sent okay in each window position some of the sequence numbers defines the packets that have been sent okay because as i've told you the copy of the packets are kept right and the sent packets are uh, through, uh, they, those packets are sent through the logic channels and that copy is kept right so that's why they are they have uh, there are uh, they are uh, kept in this blue shade here why because this indicates that the packets are already sent okay and the others define those that can be sent okay so these other uh, box right four five six these these boxes uh these boxes are basically the packets that can be sent in the, in the next next iteration okay so yeah the maximum size of the window is 2 to the power m minus 1 for reasons that we can discuss later in this chapter we let the size be fixed and set to the maximum value okay but we will see the later that some protocols may have a variable window size uh, and this figure be below figure shows the sliding window or the send window for a go back end protocol okay so you see here first is the send acknowledged and purge these packets 6 and 7 and here the first outstanding packets which are already sent through the logical channel its copies are kept here and here the these are the next packets to send that is in a set of four if you consider four packets are sent simultaneously like this the first set is uh, kept here okay after that in the next increment the next set that is one two three four is sent and the next is two three four five three four five six four five six seven and it goes on like this okay so this is the complete procedure which is taking place in the send window okay so note it down and sliding of send window is happening like this you see here with respect to first outstanding next to send whatever i have just uh, highlighted here right that only they have showed it here sliding concept so just uh, go through it again and the receive window uh, it is same as previously which you have seen for go, uh, stop and wait protocol one by one uh, uh, if the acknowledgements are sent and it would be getting updated one by one with respect to the increments happening okay so this is the receive window and the fsm FSM how it is mentioned you see here for the go back end protocol at the sender side we are having one ready state and uh, here all arithmetic equations are in modulo 2 as I have told you in a timeout you should be resend all the outstanding packets and you should be uh, restarting the timer whenever the timer expires and you should be doing the uh, procedure again uh, when you could be doing the procedure again is that whenever we are having corrupted acknowledgement then you should be discarding that packet and again the procedure repeats now here when the procedure starts you see here request from process came make a packet of sequence number as s suffix n you should be storing the packet in the sender window and you should be incrementing it and it is sent here and here there are there is one condition based on the window size okay if there is timeout you should be resending all outstanding packets and restart the timer and uh, if the window size is satisfactory then you should be uh, going towards the blocking state that is at the receiver end but there, the, if there is no 
space in the window, then you should be restarting the procedure again. Okay. So in the blocking state, what happens? Timeout uh, happens and the corrupted acknowledgement thing again happens. And if the, there is no corruption happening, the acknowledgement is sent uh, in case of an error free acknowledgement. And like this, the procedure continues for all the packets one by one. So this is at the sender side. And at the receiver side, again, the thing, it remains the same as, as that of the stop and mate protocol we have discussed. Okay. In the first corrupted packet arrived, discarding the packet procedure continues and uh, error free packet should be delivering the message and the acknowledgement is sent uh, in a smooth manner and again it comes to the ready state and like this the procedure continues okay so these are the things which with respect to the sender and the receiver of the fsm model okay so yeah that's all for this video guys uh, related to go back and protocol we have seen the difference by comparing it with stop and wait protocol you need to be noting it down okay so we have one more protocol left that is selective repeat protocol